Hello guys, this is a quick tutorial on how you can uh, connect your store to Salesforx and of course, how do you define your business policies. So just before we start our free trial, okay, we need to go to ebay.com because I want to show you how to create business policies. So I'll just uh, create a new account very, very quick. Okay, of course, I, I make all the details up. Okay, so when you create an eBay uh, account, it looks like this, right? It's not quite a store yet. So what do you do? You go here, you hover over in your name, you go to account settings. And from the account settings, we create the business policies. Now, um, if you look here, you won't see any business policies. This is because uh, we have to search in Google, opt in. business policy eBay okay and here we have an article uh, about business policies this is still eBay.com right we only care about opting in okay so okay so he's asking me for details uh, I'll just make something up I'll even make a phone up, phone number. <laughs> uh, okay, just for demonstration's sake. So, okay, so now I need to create my policies. So, we're really talking about three eBay policies, okay? The first one, one should be, of course, your payment policy, okay? Which is basically just uh, uh, putting your PayPal. Okay, so we'll mark here PayPal and we'll call it user test PayPal. Okay, of course you have to put your real PayPal email address, okay, but, but just for uh, demonstration, okay? Let's call this payment policy, okay? This is the title and I create save. Now I go and I create a return policy, okay? And I sell only in the United States, so I mark domestic returns and the buyer has to pay. And I click save. And the last one is a shipping policy, which is of course uh, depends on your supplier, right? But let's say for Amazon, Okay, uh, so this will be shipping, shipping policy. Okay, and let's say I offer expedite shipping, uh, one to three days, and let's say three handling days, and it's free. Okay, no international shipping, and I need to exclude Alaska uh -uh, and PO boxes because Amazon doesn't ship there, and I click save. Okay, so once I have my business policies ready, okay, payment policy, return policy, shipping policy, now I can go to salesforce.com, start free trial. Okay, now you can uh, choose between API and non-API. So uh, API software is really if, uh, if you've ever connected your store to another monitor software in the past, okay, and now your account is flagged. If this is the case, uh, please go ahead and choose API solution. But if you're brand new to dropshipping and you have a brand new store and you've never connected this specific store to any other monitor software, I strongly recommend to go on non-API 
okay? Because then uh, your store won't get flagged, okay? Because eBay uh, flag, um, yeah, eBay flags accounts, okay? Um, which are uh, related to API uh, monitors because they can see through the API you're doing uh, retail arbitrage, which is not allowed according to uh, eBay's policy. So this is a brand new account. So let's go for non-API, okay? Now I'll put my name. Um, again, I'm making everything up, okay? Uh, user test at gmail.com user test and let's put a password and let's make up a phone number okay and you have to mark this and start free trial oh taken okay so uh, let's do this Okay, so in the meantime, I need my store name. Okay, so if I go back here, selling, right? This is your store. This is what it looks like at the beginning until you list one item and then you can uh, uh, lo uh, log into the seller hub. So this right here is your ID, eBay ID. Okay, so this is your store's name. Okay, so right here this uh, pop-up comes automatically okay so you have to uh, define what where are you going to sell so I myself am selling on the United States and on eBay.com so I'll mark this but if you sell on eBay UK you can uh, mark UK so US now my store name oh wait I just need to copy this one. Oh well Right, this is the one, right? User, 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 dash 56. And my password was, uh, this was the password. And now for the policies. For the policies, I have to put exactly, uh, oh, did you close it? Oh, never mind. I have, to, I have to put the exact same titles. So it was very easy, right? Because I called it shipping policy and I called it return policy and then I call that payment policy now guys it's very important to do everything correctly okay don't mix up with capital letters or small letters I did everything in small letters okay but I suggest to just copy uh, copy the titles onto a notepad and then paste it right here so you don't get confused okay and now uh, the only thing that's remaining is to um, decide if you want to put your your store on a proxy or or just leave it like this okay so a proxy uh, of course you have to do it in advance right so uh, you put here all the details like the, the IP the port okay the user username and password for the proxy site uh, but if you if you plan on just managing one store I wouldn't recommend using uh, proxy, okay, because proxy is for hiding your IP, really. And you really need to hide your IP uh, when you have multiple eBay accounts. So if you're just uh, planning on using uh, managing one store, or if uh, maybe you're going to manage other stores in the future, but currently you only have this one, you really don't need any proxy. Okay, and add account. So right now what we did, okay, uh, this connection was to Amazon. Okay, so once you connect a store, you'll see the username, right? And you'll see the, the status. So currently it's in setup. Okay, it can take between 24 and 48 hours uh, for the status to become uh, active. Okay, when the status is active, your store is prepared and uh, connected to Selfrix and you can start uploading items. Okay, so right now this store is connected only to Amazon. If you want to add uh, more suppliers to this store, you can click on add supplier. Wait. 
yeah, add supplier. And then you'll have all the options for all the other suppliers that we offer and you connect uh, the store to other suppliers. Since this store is still in setup um, status, okay, um, I want to show it to you on my personal um, uh, username, okay. Uh, these stores you see active, active. So if I want to add another supplier, I just click here. Okay, and then you'll have this window and you can just uh, choose whatever supplier you want and put here the business policies uh, that correspond with this supplier. Of course, you have to prepare them in advance. And add supplier and that's it.